Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop, and today I have another review of an SG LEDs product. So this is something new that they're offering, and uh, as you can see on the label here, it says SG LEDs 0.18 watt solar deck lights six pack. So when I first received this, looking at the pictures, it seemed like they would be much bigger than this. And so when I received this package, I thought, oh, maybe they only sent me one. But then when I opened it, I noticed that it's just very, very efficiently packed product. And these lights are compact. And that makes sense. If this is something that you're going to place, um, one of the applications of this would be to place it on your deck steps. You don't want it to be too large and obtrusive uh, and possibly something that you would trip over while going upstairs. And so it was just a matter of my uh, expectations not meeting up with what is uh, practical. So that's, I only opened the top just to take a look to make sure I got the six pack. I haven't actually taken these out and tried them yet. And as you can see they're a nice brushed stainless steel. It looks like it has three LED elements inside and a nice little solar cell on the top. On the back we've got a couple of keyhole slots for mounting. and. Uh, a push button that says auto and off. So I'll have to figure that out once I take a quick look at their little quick start guide here. So what I plan to do with these is I've never bought any of these type of solar lights before and it's only for one reason. Um, Anywhere where I would actually need to use these lights, any application I have for these is in a, an indirect sunlight type situation. And maybe you're asking yourself the same question. How do these perform in indirect sunlight? And so what I plan on doing is I'll set one of these up to be exposed to indirect sunlight all day long and then I'll come out at nighttime and see how it's doing. I think the expectation would be for these to last all night long from dusk till dawn. But honestly, if I get four to five hours of runtime out of these, I would be happy. So, um, one thing I did notice when I was looking over the instructions is that the battery is replaceable, which. I think is a, a definite positive um, feature for this product because if they start to not perform very well you can just change it out with a AAA size rechargeable battery is what they say. So maybe I'll open one of these up and we'll have a look and see what that looks like. Let's pop one of these guys open and see what it looks like on the inside. I don't want to pry too much because this steel in the back is very thin and I know it'll warp. Just needs a little help. There we go. Layer number one, here's layer number two. There we go. Yeah, just like they said, a little rechargeable AAA battery right there. So that's something I really like about this. That means that this is designed to not just be a throwaway item. Um, 
it, it, I noticed when I was taking it apart, it even has little weep holes on the bottom of the fixture to allow any condensation or moisture to leak out. Um, so again, I believe that uh, the design, there, <clears throat> a lot of thought was put into the design of these. And so uh, I'm looking forward to trying them out. Okay, so all it says you need to do is you need to push this little button in and to put it into auto mode and then I'm going to go set it out. I guess I'll show you where I'll set it. It's kind of an overcast day anyway, but this side of my house is um, the front of my house actually here faces north and um, so it doesn't get any direct sunlight. So I think I'm just going to set this fixture right here and give it time to charge and then we'll see how it performs tonight. Um, looking at the time, we've only got maybe two and a half to three hours of sunlight left in the day. So if it doesn't work out tonight, I'll give it another chance tomorrow. So last night it dawned on me that maybe these batteries came pre-charged because it, it popped right on right when it got to dusk. And as you can see, it's not quite 100% uh, dark out, but the sun is down. And uh, after sitting here in the shade for 24 hours, the light turned right on and it is good to go. Uh, so I'm, I'm optimistic about uh, how I'm going to use these and um, I think they'll be very helpful. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and install them where uh, I plan on using them and we'll see how they work out. So this is a dark side of the house and we do have a, a porch light but uh, you can't see it it's too dark but the problem is is the neighbor's house is really really close and that porch light shines right into the bedroom windows and so we needed a way to be able to see the steps up to the porch and I think these lights will do the job so right now I just have them attached with 3M tape because I wanted to make sure that they were going to work out the way I wanted them to and now that I know that they do I'm gonna go ahead and drill out some holes to put in some of those anchors so they'll be uh, installed permanently so pretty satisfied with them so do they work as you can see yes they do do they work well I'd like to say that they do, and I've got good reason for saying that. Uh, these are not the brightest LED lights available, obviously. They're not the brightest solar-powered LED lights, and I think there's good reason for that. Too dim and they'd be useless. Too bright and they'd run the battery out too fast. I think they put out just the right amount of light to do what they are supposed to do. And nothing more and nothing less. So I think that these lights are just right. So here's some of the things I like about these lights. First of all, they're very small and low profile, so they're out of the way no matter where you put them. Second of all, the solar cell works well in low light and in shady areas, so indirect sunlight will charge these lights. Third, I love the fact that this has a replaceable battery. The battery is not a small pack that's soldered to the board. It's actually a AAA lithium ion battery that you can replace if it stops charging well every day. Um, th the construction is totally adequate. As soon as I installed these, we had a downpour and these lights got soaked and they were fine. So you're, they're definitely adequate in wet areas. Um, there's really, I really don't have anything bad to say about these. Usually I'll have some criticism or some way that they can improve their product or that I would like to see an improvement but really maybe the only thing I could complain about is there is a push button switch in the back to turn it on 
and um, sometimes or uh, it, it can be hard to tell if the switch is in the on or the off position but that's really splitting hairs at this point um, for the price these are being offered on Amazon for a six pack of these it's a great deal um, and I think that these would work out for your steps or your deck or just some decorative lighting around the base of your home um, so I'm pretty happy with them and I think you'd like them too if you've bought some yourself, let me know down in the comments below if you like them and how they've worked out for you. So now that I've tested them and they work out great, I'm going to commit them with concrete anchors. And uh, they're going to basically be a permanent fixture at the house that I installed them on. I actually installed them at my parents' house because my parents really needed some light on that side of the house. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, go ahead and leave me a comment and a like. I'd like to thank SG LEDs for giving me the opportunity to review these lights. And thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.